Warning, the following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. What's going on guys? Welcome to a top 10 video and this one is Halloween related and it is my top 10 horror Funko Pops that I own. Let's get straight into it. Rated M for Mature. What's going on guys? Welcome to my latest video and we're doing a top 10 video today and this is one all about Funko Pops. Oh no. And in particular horror Funko Pops being the month of October uh, with Halloween coming. I love Halloween. The thing I like to do most during the month of October and Halloween is watch a load of horror movies. So I thought what better time to go through my top 10 horror Funko Pops that I own. Okay, so first up, number 10. So number 10 is uh, Regan from The Exorcist. Uh, I like this pop because I like the box. I like the, the puke splatter. <laughs> on the side of the box. And um, the pop is really cool as well. She's pretty awesome. So yeah, that is definitely my number 10 on the back of the box art. You've just got the movie box art there as well. And uh, yeah. That is a cool pop. What's going on? Who turned the lights out? Whoa, what happened there? Where, where am I? Okay, this is a bit weird, but uh, yeah, let's carry on with the video. Okay, so number nine. Number nine is from The Shining, probably my third favorite horror film of all time. And we've got Jack Torrance. Here's Johnny. Um, so yeah, the pop for Jack Torrance is really awesome. Again, the box has got, uh, this one's got blood splatter on it. But this one in particular says uh, red rum. Red rum. Red rum. Quite like Jack Nicholson as well. He's got his messed up hair. Uh, he's got his axe. Uh, yeah, a really well done pop, that one. Okay, number eight is uh, from Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and uh, it is Leatherface. So we've got Leatherface there. A lot, a lot. He's, he looks quite. Of all the horror ones, he's actually probably the cutest looking. Like his face, he's like he's got a cute little face. Uh, there is a new Leatherface one, and that looks really cool. But yeah, this one uh, it's a cool pop. I like this one, but it's not the scariest of all of them. Uh, we've got the artwork from the uh, film again there. So yeah, number eight. Okay, number seven. Number seven, we've got Pinhead. I am pain. Pinhead from uh, Hellraiser. Uh, this one, this pop is particularly taken from Hellraiser 3, Hell on Earth. Um, Hellraiser freaked me out as a kid. I watched that. I was way too young to watch that film. That was messed up. Uh, the pop itself is pretty cool. And again, cool movie box art on it. Um, it's a really good one to have in the collection. Okay, so number six is from the movie It. Not the uh, 2017 movie It. But the old uh, TV movie two-part movie it uh, and yeah it's Tim Curry's it aren't you gonna say hello and uh, yeah I've, I have the, the pop of the latest it but there's just something about this iconic one for me that I like more so that's why this one made it into the top 10 uh, yeah I've, I love the, the vibrant colors on that one that that freaky looking clown Okay, getting into the top five. Number five is, uh, it's, pr it's the main character from what you'd probably say one of the three top slasher movies. Uh, and it is Michael Myers from Halloween. The one, the only. So yeah, with the new Halloween movie coming out, 
Uh, this is quite fitting. But yeah, we've got Michael Myers there. Box art in this one's not great. And the move, the pop's quite basic, but you know, it's Michael Myers, so he had to be in my top five. Okay, in at number four is one of my most favourite horror characters of all time from one of my favourite movie franchises, and it is Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th. Jason will come to you. So I've just got the standard Jason here. Um, I would love to own the, the one without the mask on, but that is way too pricey for me. But yeah, this is a cool pop. It's very basic again. I really want to get the new one they've released for Friday the 13th Part 2. Again, the box art's not great on these early ones. Uh, but, I mean, yeah, he was number one in the uh, movie line. So he's a really old one. But yeah, it's just another good one to have in the collection, for sure. Okay, so in at number three is probably my favourite horror character of all time from my favourite horror movie of all time. And it is Freddy Krueger from Nightmare on Elm Street. Watch out for him. So again, the pop is quite basic. It's one of the early ones. I've had this a long time. Uh, the box art's not brilliant either on these ones, like I said. Uh, but, like I said, my favourite movie, uh, favourite horror movie uh, character, he had to be in the top sort of three. But as a pop, he's not one of my favourite, favourite ones. So, let's get into number two. You are all my children now. So, number two, this, um, this, this movie's quite popular. Or as a cult following. I didn't think it was that great myself, but I I love this pop. And um, the movie is Trick or Treat, and it's Sam. There's another tradition. Mm. Always check your candy. So he's in a pop protector. This one's worth a bit of money now. Uh, it's pretty hard to find. Uh, the pop is really cool looking. The box art's pretty cool on this one. Um, it's a strange movie. I'm, I wasn't quite as into it as a lot of people, other people seem to be. It's a good movie nonetheless, but you know, the pop looks really cool. The little sack on his head. He's, yeah, I really like that one. Okay, so number one. So I've shown you all those pops. What on earth could be my number one favourite horror movie pop? Of course, it's a clown. No, it's not Pennywise, because we've already had Pennywise, and it's not, I said it wasn't the new one. It's Captain Spaulding from uh, House of a Thousand Corpses. First of all, don't forget to take home some of my tasty fried chicken. Ha ha! It just tastes so damn good. It's Captain Spaulding. He features in several Rob Zombie movies including House of Thousand Corpses and The Devil's Rejects. Um, and he is a clown who likes fried chicken. There's the back box art. He's a cool looking pop. I like him. He looks really like the character. And he features in some truly messed up movies. What's the matter, kid? Don't you like clowns? Why? Hey. Don't we make you laugh? Aren't we fucking funny? You best come up with an answer because I'm going to come back here and check on you and your mama. If you ain't got a reason why you hate clowns, I'm going to kill your whole fucking family. All right, now get your fucking ass out the car. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, that's my top 10 Funko Pops uh, horror related that I own. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what are your favourite horror pops that you own. Do you own horror pops? Do you like horror movies? And uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section below. If you have enjoyed this video, guys, please give it a like. Le leave that like. Helps me out. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel for more Funko Pop related content as well as video games and other pop culture stuff. Okay, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. That's if I get out of here alive. Take it easy. Oh. Oh.